Hello everybody and welcome back to Spiritfarer. So today we are going to go back and see Daria because they said we could come back and we also got everybody that they need for the hospital so I'm hoping that everything will be a lot nicer there now now that they actually have people who can help them out. So let's just head that way right away. Oh we've got an exclamation point from Daria! I think this is the first time we've seen one like that. Is it just me or does it seem brighter here? Oh, we've got two exclamation points. Hopefully it's not Jackie. I don't think it is. I think it's the caretaker. Hey! Thank you so much for helping out. This really means a lot. We might all just be patients here, but that doesn't mean we have to be treated this way. This is just goes to show you. Sometimes good people just need to step in. People not doing their jobs just boggles the mind. Mm -hmm. Lives are literally in your hands. It's just so... I'm getting worked up here. Mm -hmm. Breathe. So, things are already looking up. The kitchen is making some strides in the food department. No one has gotten food poisoning in the past few days. What kind of hospital is this? So that's a plus. I saw some fancy pants doctors doing the rounds. One of them was really obnoxious, but that's better than no doctors. Oh, and you might have noticed that there isn't random trash just littering the halls. Maintenance is keeping the grounds clean. Mm -hmm. That just about does it. I won't keep you. Thanks again. Mm -hmm. Don't be shy around these parts. Aw, oh, yay! We did it! Alright, now we gotta go up to see our friend. Daria! Stella! I see you! Hi! You are really are here. I asked for you. I asked the guards. No, the... The guardians? <sighs> this room felt like a cage. And now, I am told that I am free. <sighs> free? Uncertain. The freedom might be a trick, I thought. A sinking of the light. A twisted mirror. Ah. Uh, <sighs> no. You are here. Magic. I am... I... Uh, thank you for coming. I... I am not as I was when we last met, Stella. You see, I am adrift on an ocean of my own making. And I've come to realize that... That... I cannot produce the words. I shout them over the endless expanse of water. Where they die down to whispers and insignificant ripples. Hmm. And, and, I believe that you can still hear them. You are the one who listens, who knows how to listen. Hmm. You can illuminate the ocean's starless nights, the instrument you have gifted me, and, uh, hmm. you remember my song, don't you? Please, go outside and play it. It shall guide me. I believe you will understand. The Night Watch. Play Daria's song at outside of Daria's room. Daria, true to herself, has mysteriously asked me to play her song just outside her room. I will do it, of course! climbed up the tower, you saw only a fragile thing, deserving of care and empathy. You did not see the steely bonds with which the giant had stilled me. And neither did you see the tumultuous sea underneath. And how it grew angrier and angrier accord in accordance to the giant's fickle spirits. No, you saw the pain and neglected the wound. What is going on? Whoa, what is happening? Whoa! This is so cool! Where are we supposed to go, I wonder? There you are! Daria! It is unsurprising, then, that you were unready for the giant's last dying spasms. For his encounter with demons of his own that will break his will. 
Unsurprising and understandable was your confusion. When the invisible but raging sea swept me away, and where, unmoored and weighted as I was, I sunk to the deepest depths. Oh! Is she talking about Jackie? Oh, things are turning invisible! Oh! No, 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 no! Oh, I see. Okay, now we gotta be faster. Her instrument! They're so beautiful! These depths I knew well, and had hoped to never visit them again. Within them roamed all manner of vicious beasts, toothed and fanged and scaled. Hungry always for suffering and pain, for doubts, memories, and minds. Every single morsel. To survive, I thrashed and I flailed. So much so that I managed to shed my bonds, along with strands of myself. And the beasts, as expected, promptly devoured them. Oh, we're back. Oh, God. Whoa. Up, 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 up. All right, we need to wait. Okay. Go. Whoa. <laughs> what the heck? No. <laughs> Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. That is so cool. I'm glad my cat is just having a fun time on the ground while I parkour. Oh, whoa, whoa. This is really interesting. Is this what- this is her mind? I- I wonder? Maybe? Well, she, we're, she, it's nice to talk to her. Daria! Lightened as I was, I floated back to the surface, far from the beasts. It was there that gentle hands plucked me from a gentler sea. And there, as I was lying surrounded by wispy figures, neither good nor bad, I contemplated an image that had been burned in my empty mind. For through the nests of beasts, a strange glimmer caught my eye. Remnants and wrecks from past voyages, containing treasures of a past long forgotten. Whoa, Raft of the Medusa. Whoa. Buy new items at the vending machine. That experience with Daria was quite something, but I think it's helping her. Perhaps if I help improve Overbrook, she'll get even better. Yes! Let's make it even better here. Yeah! Oh. You gotta help us out! The kitchen's gross! I've got nothing to work oh. with! The pans are older than my grandmother! They look like they've been through the Great War! I know I'm not a real cook, but I do have principles! Oh. You gotta find a way to help us out! Oh, wow! Oh. Sorry for lashing out. I know it's not your fault. Jeez, it's not even your problem! Oh. Listen, do me a favor. We need to get some proper cooking going on. Mm. We've been serving what looks like dog food until now. Not the rich, fancy kind, more like the discount bin stuff. We don't have any fresh produce. Mm. It's all dried up and non-perishable. Even Raccoon Inc. Mining Co. wasn't that cruel. They knew that feeding your employees was at least good business. Mm. A ration a day keeps the scurvy away. However, this is just unacceptable. I've been making some of the worst food I've ever made in my life here. Mm. I need your help. I need you to find some fresh ingredients. And a variety of stuff, too. Mm. I can't be making bread with old newspapers and toilet water. Oh, Jesus Christ, I hope not. It just doesn't work. Oh, no, you've tried it. I don't want to make these people sicker than they already are. Mm. They need proper meals that'll help them get better. To give them life juice. So here's a list of things I need. Mm. Don't skimp on the good stuff now. It would really help me out. I'm making this slop and it doesn't taste like anything. Mm. Take a breather and I promise I'll be calmer when you get back. Thanks. The right kind of spice, huh? Leek, raspberry, rice flour, potato. Okay, so we need to go get some rice. But before that... <gasps> Whoa! Look, it's got colors all over it! The lighthouse looks so beautiful! Hey! What did you do? Seriously? Spit it out! Daria seems to really have responded to you. Never seen her like that. So vibrant. I don't know what you did, but it did wonders. And now another thing. What's going on with Overbrook? 
I've worked here for ages and it never changes. Odd things have been happening ever since you came around. One minute everything is going to shit. The power is constantly going in and out. We've got rats as big as dogs. It's always raining. Then, poof! Things are turning around. They're still bad, but less bad. You know, it's like... I still can't swim, but I don't have monster-sized rats trying to eat my feet. But you know what I think? I think all these changes, they're related to you and that weird-looking vending machine. Don't make that face, I mean it! Listen, I've never used it personally. I don't believe in money and the concept of spending said money. But whenever you use it, weir weird stuff happens. More good than weird. Still, it's pretty weird. So I'm thinking, you should just go all out and buy a bunch of stuff from the vending machine. Really let yourself loose. If it magically brings new life to this place, who am I to stand in its way? Also, it might cheer up Daria and everyone else in this depressing hellhole. I won't keep you. Enjoy your snacks at the vending machine. Fingers crossed for the weird good stuff. Sure, totally, but very quick. I want to look around and see if, like the chef, if there's anyone else who wants my help. The more people we help, the nicer this place will get. Hey, have I been enjoying my time at Overbrook? Not really. Everyone is so mean to me. They keep calling me names, like Trashy or Piles. You know? Names relating to picking up trash. You probably already figured that out. I do enjoy picking up other people's trash, but it still hurts. I don't like it when people call me mean names. Very few people like that, I suppose. This job would be great if they wouldn't stop just talking trash to me. Oh no, I'm the one doing it now. I just don't- I just want them to treat me with a little bit of respect. Or, at the very least, not talk to me. Would you mind telling them to stop? That would make my days a bit better. I will! Hey. If you want to be a chef, you gotta have a boatload of cloths. Dry cloths, wet cloths, mm. wiping cloths, and it's gotta hang from your apron so people know you mean business. Cooking business. Mm. That's what being a chef is all about. Looking great. Okay. Mm. What an intense day. I gotta call in the early hours. Needing my expertise. Mm. They said to come right away. I did, I did. I'm a real doctor. Totally real. They didn't just dial the wrong number and catch me by mistake. No, ma'am. Yep, I'm gonna do just fine. How hard can this be? Uh, I beg to differ. Oh. Hi there. What? Old Trashy doesn't like being called names? Well, that's news to me. I really thought we had a rapport. Oh. I would produce trash, he would pick it up, and I would call him a trash-related name. We had this whole bit. I'm a bit shocked, really. Oh. I'll try and be better at reading social cues next time. Hmm. Just feel awful now. What should I do? Well, money has always been the answer for me. What is Trashy... Well, I mean... Well, I don't actually know his name. I will find out first thing in the morning. In the meantime, I should do something nice for him. Hmm. Got it! You should go give him something healthy. That always cheers me up. An apple, maybe? I know it sounds expensive, but it's organic and so healthy for you. I eat like 12 a day. That's why I'm so vibrant and fit. Sure he'll love it. He always rambles on about eating healthy and producing his own food. Who has time for that? Not me, but you know, everyone's got a thing. So here's some money, just in case. Just go see him with an apple. Sure things will be fine after that. Thanks. Fine. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm richer than you, but whatever. Oh, wow. What? Yeah, I don't want your dumb rich people apple. If he thinks that fruit bought with dirty money will make things better, he's a completely delusional. But look at the scenery. There's a garden here now. Nature completely overtook these ruins. This looks amazing. It's so beautiful and, oh, just smell the air. So fresh. This is way better than some stupid fruit or whatever. I heard rich people's apples were actually made of recycled apples, mixed in with like dirty magazines, little rocks, used water, etc. You know, the gross stuff. What I enjoy about rich people is the way they spend their money. On dumb things. Well, well. I don't know how this overgrown garden popped up. I'm sure it makes my little feud with the doctor pretty unconsequential. He can call me whatever he wants. I don't care. I've got a garden now. I'm clearly better than him. Well, look at this splendor. Nature really makes things better, doesn't it? Nature is very beautiful. All right, we need to buy health nuts, loose spices, and crackers for animals, and we need rice flour. Let's see. Ooh, I need springs. Oh, 
I got those from Daria, so I can only buy the health nuts right now. Oh! Thank you. Oh, you're welcome! Oh, Jesus! Whoa. All right then. It's a very interesting vending machine. Whoa, were there flowers here before? That's pretty. Hmm. Oh, look! More colors! And flowers! It's getting better! <gasps> look in the background! Oh, all the colors! That's so beautiful! Oh, Daria, you're awesome! Alright, I need to find right- wait. Was it rice flour? Rice flour. Can I- do I have rice? I can make some. I only have one rice. Oh, I need to get more rice. It's probably by Furugawa. Furugawa. Say it right. Haven't been here in a while. It's been a long time. This is around the area where we found Alice. And where we did some stuff with Gustavo. Or whatever his name was, the owl guy. got our stuff. We also got a new thingy. A new acetate to put in the uh, projection thing, so we'll have to see what that is. I want to see this. Lost at sea. Huh. Oh, I, I think I remember that guy. Didn't we save someone who was stuck in the middle of the ocean before? Poor bastard. Okay, and we've got our next Looter's Literary Review as well. Oh, shoot. I hate when I do that. I'm just trying to open my thing. Looter's Literary Review presents the third of the Crow's Ending Lost Bounties, and remember, a good place to start is at the beginning, and closes a Portolan chart as a reference. Oh. Chart three. Okay, we've got two islands. There's a blockage right there. It kind of looks like it might be snowy or foggy. Hang on, let's see. A good place to start is at the beginning. Two islands kind of separate from one another. Somewhere over here? Maybe? Kinda looks like it. Maybe. I don't know. Ooh! Treasure! No, wait! Stop! No, stop watering! Yes! That was an easier one to find. Well, I guess the right at the beginning part did help. Ooh! Well done! Another truly great find, me old buccaneer. Alt Harbor was once a nice little promenade. A cozy stop for cheap tourists and weary travelers. It had a small cafe with these incredible pastories. And no, I know, a pirate like me sail in a cafe. Their danishes were to die for. I can smell the raspberry filling to this day. Arr! Enough about the past, you're a natural captain. An example of our valiant crew. I'm always learning from your example, oh great pirate captain. A new Looter's Literary Review should be coming soon. Yes! <laughs> oh, I've never looked...
looked at these before. How did I forget to look at these? Oh, I looked at that one. That one is really sweet. Yes! Alright, we have enough. We can deliver to the chef. Whoa! Mm. Now this is the good stuff. We can definitely do something with these. I'll start working on getting french fries on the menu. Mm. And in a few days, we should have moussely and fisherman's pie. Oh, and I'll even try my hand at a nice vegetable stir-fry. Patients have been complaining about the food for a while now. Mm. Well, at the very least, these new dishes make them stop. Oh, I can't wait for Gertrude or Gary to try these meals. No more, your food tastes like wet socks. Mm. Or my granddaughter makes tastier food than this. Well, I better get to it. Mm. <laughs> Thanks again. The accent change at the end there. Alright, well, with all of that done, we're going to end the video here for today. Next time, we're going to do some more things for Daria, play a song for her again, maybe get more of the little spring she gave us so we could get more stuff out of the vending machine. But until then, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourselves and have a good day.